starts right now. A Fox 25 follow up tonight on work programs inside Oklahoma prisons. Some of the state's most dangerous offenders are taking on jobs you might not expect. We've got your back finding out why investigators sounded the alarm and what's happening right now that has them worried. It all started with a shocking revelation. Child porn downloaded and shared from a computer inside prison. Convicted child molester Corey Ford told investigators he couldn't help himself after he was granted full administrative access at his IT job for a telemarketing call center behind bars. That was very troubling considering his prior conviction charges and what he was in jail for. District Attorney's Investigator Steve Tenio worked with the Office of the Inspector General at DOC on Ford's latest case. That led to all call centers in Oklahoma prisons to be shut down. Now those investigators are looking into other work programs through Oklahoma Correctional Industries, including the Yearbook Project. Here's a flyer obtained by Fox 25 advertising the service inside Joseph Harp Correctional in Lexington. High schools can have their yearbooks scanned and processed at no cost by so-called low risk offenders. These are examples of yearbooks inmates have digitized right on OCI's website. So who's handling your photos inside prison? Investigators say it might very well be a sex offender. Scanning pictures, is that a concern for you? We're talking about children with their names and faces and pictures in the hands of some of these guys. Especially child sex offenders, how a uh, vicious and the crime that is and the psyche of those individuals, uh, any access to any children, I don't care if it's images or biographical data is uh, extremely disturbing. Fox 25 obtained this list of the offenders we're told are working on the yearbook project, including convicted murderers, child sex abusers, and rapists. 28 of the 47 on the list are serving life sentences. We have asked DOC to confirm this list and are still awaiting their response. They did send us a statement which says from their investigation of OCI's telemarketing programs, information was received which resulted in the immediate suspension of OCI's document scanning program. As part of the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force, Tanio wants to see more oversight from DOC when selecting inmates for specific jobs that are supposed to help them return to society successfully. In this case, your precious memories potentially in the hands of a predator. The contracts to offer these prison jobs bring in some big money, both to the companies working with OCI and to the Department of Corrections, which only pays inmates a fraction of, of what it takes in for the work. Now, we have requested those contracts from DOC. Stay with Fox 25 as we follow the money and the future of these jobs behind bars.